Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Platinum City Gaming. Dude, first let me introduce you. Uh, the, my name's Van, uh, also known as AKA Mr. Showtime, the show, or whatever the hell you want to call me. It doesn't matter. Just don't call me your mama. Um, <laughs> and uh, on the other side, we got our boy Chris. What's going on, Chris? Hey, nothing much. As you guys would realize, I look like the Platinum City logo, so they modeled it after my likeness. It's uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he he's on the webcam right now. That's that's him. That that lovely city. You know, it, it's just beautiful. People people just have just such a great misconception about me. They think I'm white, and no, actually, I'm black and white. <laughs> he's so. black and white. He's not just <laughs> black. He's not just black. He's not just white. He's also black and white. That's uh, awesome. The, exactly so how you doing my good man <laughs> oh man i'm like super stoked man this is our very first uh twitch broadcast so i'm ready to go man so everything's a little plain right now we only got my <laughs> webcam and then we got the lovely black and white chris picture and then um uh -huh. and then we got nothing in the bottom so but uh <laughs> this is the first time uh we're actually streaming on twitch live so it's mm -hmm. a, a new experience and of course we're gonna go along and add more stuff as we go along and stuff like that but uh oh, yeah. right now we'll start with the basic I got the basic blue black background back there, so that way you guys can't see my uh, shitty basement wall back there. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, other than that, man, um, if you guys are new to the show, we've been around for a couple of years now. Uh, we've mostly just done audio, but we decided to come over to the Twitch world because it's such uh, a famous place for, for gamers to be. And mm -hmm. so that way we switched over to the world of gaming. So that way we can kind of reach you guys, the gamers, a little bit easier. Because you stream yep. just was not doing it for us. So, <laughs> um, But uh, we had a lot of listeners just listen to... Um, past broadcasts and stuff but the live is really where we want to kind of reach everybody and um yeah. we wanted to kind of put a picture to our pretty faces so that way you guys can just fantasize over our sexy voices now you can kind of <laughs> kind of uh see us and see what's going on there so but um it's been a while we well not a while we only missed one week so that wasn't yeah. too bad gave us a chance to prep and get everything together so yep. um yep. a few things happened uh over the week, but before we get into all that, um, usually we start off by seeing how everybody is personally. So, uh, what's been going on with you, Chris? Man, gaming anything new? No, <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, it's one of those. We finally had a, a good weekend and nice weather out, so of course I had to uh, get caught up doing the domestic thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, Ugh. um, you know, I've just been messing with some uh, development tools on my phone and everything like that. Just rooted it and threw on a ROM and mm -hmm. just idle hands, I guess. But, oh, yeah, I'm like Saturday sitting there doing yard work and I'm just – it was it was kind of like a reverse thing. I was looking in the window at the PS4 and I'm like, oh, daddy's so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, <that's>... so, <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know. And it's just I, – I could just see the little blue light go boop, boop. <laughs> and it's like, yes, I know. I'm right here. <laughs> what about funny. you, my good man? What have you been getting into? Um, well, I've been doing a lot at the lounge. We ran a couple, um, actually, a couple tournaments got canceled because nobody uh, signed up for them, which I was definitely surprised. But yeah. um, we're doing a little bit something different with the advertising, so I'm hoping that's going to help a little bit. Um, but, you know, we've had a few games coming out, so I've been playing um, the Final Fantasy 15 demo and uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero. Uh, I've also been playing Hardline. I have not got into Bloodborne yet, um, but my brother told me all about it. And um, for a while, uh, he's been, you know, talking to me about it. And I've been watching videos on video, uh, videogames.com, which is for you guys seeing it. I just type in video games. It's just so much easier. Um, <laughs> Gamespot.com. But I've been reading and watching a lot about it. So we're going to get into that a little bit later. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just been playing video games and uh that's pretty much it that's all i really <laughs> that's all i really do <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that living the good life there's there's worse habits to have yeah well actually they've been making a lot of good connections um a lot of big things i've uh, been working on the cool. tournaments for april uh we've um got a sponsor for one of our tournaments that is coming up so that's going to be really nice. cool uh and when works with a couple other companies and stuff like that um mm -hmm. but uh yeah so uh let's get into this we'll start off with uh i want to talk a little bit about the lounge um uh, let me see here and talk a little bit about uh, April's tournament. So 
first, before we get into the tournament, I want to see and talk a little bit about the Thursdays. Uh, every Thursday, we have a special event that goes on, uh, and the door charge is usually $5 at the door. It depends on what we do, on what time it starts and stuff. But Thursday is... Um, like a different event every every Thursday. So April second, we're going to have a rock band night. So from three to nine, we'll have the rock band out. Um, I think it might be Band Hero, but I got to test all my stuff, make sure everything works before I just say, oh yeah, that's good. But um, a band night and just come in. It's on the projector and just come out, rock out with us. It's it's a fun night. It's a good time. You know, make a fool of yourself, but it's okay because everyone else is making a fool of themselves as well. So it's a good time. Uh, April 9th, we have Heroes of Might and Magic. Uh, that day, I think we're going to play Heroes 5. Uh, I believe that's what I'm going to stick with because that's the newest one. Okay. Um, Andrew's addicted to all the heroes, so uh, I'm going to have a couple PCs hook up, so we're going to actually get into a LAN, uh, a little LAN battle, see if we can get that going on. Uh, Heck yeah. Yeah, so um, it's going to be based on what everybody wants when they're there. Uh, April 16th is a Buzz Trivia Night. Uh, that is from 7 to 9. Um, we're going to only do that for a few hours. And what it is is we're going to have Buzz on PlayStation 3 hooked up and uh, just have a trivia night. I'm going to see you know what questions people want to go with. And uh, I don't, I'm don't. i not too sure about the prizes yet. I'm, I'm still debating on how if I'm going to give prizes away, if I do, what it's going to be. I mean, I might give free entries to a couple tournaments and stuff like that. So. Okay. Um, but it's a fun night, it's a fun game. If you've never played it, uh, it's it's a great game and it, it's a loads of fun. So, and then on the twenty fourth, uh, we got Munchkin Night. Chris, you ever play Munchkins, the card game? No, no, you were telling me about it. Now, it's a great card game. It, it, so much fun. Uh, it, it just it. The thing I love about it is everyone ends up hating everyone at the end of the game. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a great game. If if you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. Come on down, check it out. If you haven't played it, come on down, check it out, and just watch at least. If you don't you don't play, it's very easy to pick up. The all the rules are pretty much on the cards. Um, most people think it's like a nerd game. Believe it or not, it's really not. Like you'd be surprised how fun it is. It's not a Dungeon and Dragons like game. It's nothing like that. It's yeah. pretty much the p- whole point of it is to screw your opponent, and that's nice. <laughs> that's and pretty it, much the gist of it. It's not a couples game. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. So, but um, yeah, so that pretty much sets up for uh, the Thursday nights. Um, for the first week, which is actually this week coming up, uh, this Friday, we have NHL 15 tournament. Uh, it's nice. from 5 p.m. to whenever the tournament ends. Usually, they run to like 11. Uh, we got uh, $20, $20 entry, $5 venue fee, which is pretty much almost all our tournaments, so I'm not going to keep saying that unless it's different. But yeah. uh, NHL 15, huge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enter this one. I, I like NHL a lot, so that's going to be fun. Um, then this Saturday, April 4th, uh, same time, 5 o'clock, same price. Uh, we are running NBA 2K15 tournament. And, oh, by the way, they're both for PS4. Uh, most of the tournaments I run are going to be on PS4 unless they're designated to just one system. So that's how we're going to end up running that. Um, and then we have uh, Super Smash Brothers tournament on April 10th, which is next Friday. Uh, we're going to do those matches two-on-two. Uh, double elimination, which all our tournaments are mostly double elimination. So um, this tournament is going to be a little bit special, though. Uh, this tournament is actually um, sponsored, and it's going to be uh, Platinum City Gaming's very first, um, uh, very first tournament that is going to be sponsored by a product. And uh, it's by Performance Design Products. So very excited with that. Uh, not only do you get a cash prize, but you are also going to, if you place in first, second, third, win a free wired fight pad um, personally given by uh, Performance Design Products. I want to thank them very much and give them a nice. shout out for doing that. Their controllers, if you haven't seen it, uh, I'm going to come back to the uh, the main camera. Uh, these things are absolutely awesome. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites. Uh, I love this. Uh yep. The Wario one. They didn't have any more of the Link one, so I couldn't get that. But this is... Oh, Chris. Uh, have you? When was the last time you played on a GameCube controller? Uh, When I actually opened up my Link. Oh, really? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, I, I had the, the Link one. Oh, so you bought one of these? Uh-huh. Oh, did you oh, really? Dude, I had that pre-ordered. As soon as I saw that come up, I'm like, 
mine. That, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, man. They're, they're hard to get. Um, oh. when I bought mine at PAX, uh, they were like, "Yeah, these are it, man." And they're like, uh, "You have to pre-order them and blah blah blah." So that's when I got the connection and say, "Hey, you know, I do Smash Brother contests and I love using your controllers. I mean, it's you can't play Smash Brothers tournament without your controllers." Um, you know, is there something that you guys want to do? You know, and they were yeah. more than happy. Um, more, wow. yeah, more than um, way more than happy to uh, donate those controllers for the cause of um for the tournament so i'm very excited thank you guys very much uh a huge shout out to you guys for that i'm excited to see which ones i got what characters because i might have to you know snag one up i don't know <laughs> i might i might have to be greedy on that one but um Something wrong with that. <laughs> but uh nope very exciting very exciting that um that again is what when did i say that was that was on the 10th yeah april 10th yes. so um then after that we have um fifa fifa 15 which will be april 18th um now i've i've run several fifa tournaments in the past this one is going to be different this one is going to be a two-on-two tournament so um yeah yep it's gonna be two on two uh still 16 teams not 16 players it's gonna be 16 teams uh the fly is 16 person but that's that's what it means is 16 team max uh same thing grand prize 70 20 10 same uh this one yep starts at five as well so um the entry actually doubles because it's going to be you know more players so okay. the entry or um is 40 and the venue fee for now is always going to be five uh but uh that makes it you know the price go up a little bit for the grand prize and that's kind of what i wanted to go with with everybody so um and then on the 25th we are going to have the madden 15 tournament um and that's another one that will be 40 dollars uh for the entry fee plus five dollar venue fee and that one is also two on two uh madden starts a little bit earlier madden's gonna start at four so that's that's cool you know the way people aren't there until um until uh one o'clock in the morning like i was last time that was a nightmare <laughs> that was a nightmare <laughs> uh all worth it all little bleed for the cause man yes bleed for the cause yes it was worth it though everyone had a good time but that's why i doubled the money so that way it's worth it um to stay yeah. if, if we have to stay that long you know um i don't want people staying that long in and not enjoying themselves so exactly um, now I want to kind of get into uh, a couple of special thanks. Um, I want to shoot uh, a shout out to uh, JB Creations, JP Creations, uh, good friends of mine. Um, they do awesome jobs. As you can see, some of the pictures here, uh, they've designed uh, the bottom right hand um, picture. I think it's on the bottom right hand for you guys. Um, and uh, it's the Nintendo controller table. Mine is not a working controller, but on the top right, that one's not working, but the buttons are raised. Uh, I am currently working on a project together with them to make a working table. So you'll be able to plug it in and actually be able to play uh, Nintendo with the actual table. So, awesome. yeah, um, but I love the table. It's awesome. It, it, it's great uh if you guys are looking to get a table like this check them out on their facebook page uh jp creations you can also check out their website let me just make sure that i have uh, jp creations dash ma dot com uh yeah definitely check that out I'll, I'll put their website in the chat room as well so that way you guys can check it out uh they have extremely cool things if you notice on the left they built me a cabinet that used to be oh. a dresser it was an old dresser wow. and uh i wanted to be an entertainment center so i gave them my idea of what i want to do and they came with me with a little bit of a different idea which was still on the same basis but when they came with me with the idea i was like you know what that could work let's try that and when they brought it to me they didn't give me the full description of what it was and i was practically in tears if you if you check out their facebook page the video of me actually opening it is, is on there and it's pretty cool so um what i strictly use it for is all my nintendo consoles uh right now you see a computer on the side but i'm gonna actually get a uh, raspberry pi pc and stick it in there and it's going to just play emulators of all the video game consoles uh that are built in there so uh, as you notice there's not one nintendo console missing i have every single console in my collection there so 
I saw that. I was like, <laughs> touche, my good man. Yeah, so I might get the uh, FICOM and put that in there too for shits and giggles. But Yeah, you go. Uh, but, um, yeah, so uh, big shout-outs to JP Creations for all the work they do. They do awesome job. They also do, like, I, I don't know if I said this. I think I said this. They do custom jobs. So if there's something that you, you've seen or you have a great idea, please shoot them an email, shoot them a Facebook message, and say, hey, listen, this is my idea, and they're more than welcome. They're more than happy to um, to do that, and they also they love uh, coming up and seeing new ideas and stuff like that. So um, nice. something they love. Um, I'm gonna keep this little photo down there in the bottom <laughs> of uh, the people because they're so awesome and they really really hooked us up. So um, all right, so let's get let's get started on our topics, my man. Um, so. Uh, Let's start with the game review. So let's start with the games that we have played. Now, what do you want to do because it's a little bit shorter? Do you want to start with the, the demo or do you want to do zero? Uh, let's, do, let's do the demo. You want to do the demo first? All yeah, right, we'll, we'll do the demo. It. We'll get into the demo now. Since I sat there and just talked everyone's ear off with the flyers, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll let you get into the demo and then uh, I'll just express how I feel about it after. All right. Um, well... As everyone knows, Final Fantasy Zero, and I believe this was for all editions. I'm a little confused because you get, for the day one editions, quote-unquote, pre-order, stuff like that, you get the Final Fantasy 15 demo. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it with all Final Fantasy Zero purchases at this point you get the uh, No, it's only, it's, only day okay. it's only day one um, from what okay. I'm hearing, but how many yeah. day ones they have... Um... I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. That was. That's why. Like you know what? I'm just buying day one. Yeah, and seeing that's exactly what I did. But you. So you get uh, what was it? Three hours, I think, of Final Fantasy 15. It's a single episode, and to my understanding, it's uh, it's a custom episode, which mm -hmm. means it's completely isolated from the story. You know, it starts out, a car breaks down, you have to pay an extravagant amount of gill to get it down, and oh, lo and behold, you happen upon a bounty, which pays you exactly what your car is worth to get out. Mm -hmm. Convenient. Um, I like the demo because it's a, a perfect blend of your expectations for the game. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, don't get me wrong, it's not without its flaws, but it's it's to me it's too stripped down in a way but i like it because i can get a feel for the gameplay and understand you know the type of mechanics it is okay. uh, that entails on doing it which it it opens up a lot of the um the uh attack stance defense stance um Switching your weapons, customizing weapons you get. Uh, it shows a little bit of the banter between um, the party members. One of the things that really impressed me with the demo was, you know, obviously outside of the graphics, you know, and I'll take that impress impressive loosely because you you could tell it needed a little bit of polishing, but uh, it's it's how responsive the AI was. Like, when one of your characters went down, like, the other AI, like, automatically went to help them. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I didn't have any problems with that. Um, the yeah. guys coming to help. It was mm -hmm. frustrating sometimes, like, if they got caught and, and they happened to die. But I, I do like... Um, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. Like, I do, no, no, no. I do like um, the recovery system where you kind of get... You don't get KO'd, but you kind of get stunned, and you're like, oh, yes. and then you gotta you gotta kind of walk around to try to recover yourself because yeah. sometimes what I noticed that happened with me with fast action um, games, you get you get caught up in the action and you don't really pay yes. attention to your your life. Well, in Final Fantasy. You can't do that. You know what I mean? Like you can't no. sit there in, in constant action and just expect to just keep hitting somebody and you're not going to die. Uh, yeah. You really got to mix in the the cures and the po oh the yeah. potions. Uh, oh my god, that was so frustrating. In the case <laughs> we'll get into that in a second, but um, yeah. it, that that was really frustrating. And um, if 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 you were just dying, you know what I mean. So I loved how yeah. they had it where you got you know. Kato'd and then like you're like oh and then now you can't do anything but heal so like yeah. now you get the chance to run and hide and and also it make you pay attention to your other guys because now it's so fast action it's not like the um the uh what am i thinking about the um 
rotation well, turn-based. yeah turn base yeah. yeah it's not like the turn base yeah. style where you have enough time to look at your guys and you have enough time to attack or heal or whatever so i think it was i think it was a good upgrade for what they need to do uh, for the fighting system yeah and you know to anybody who hasn't played it besides shame on you <laughs> it's 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 how 13 was uh-huh. you know uh, i'm once again, this is just from the demo perspective, which I think they did away with randomly random encounters. Mm-hmm. You know, where in 13, you saw the enemy, they spawned, but they always had specific spawn points. You could see them, you can engage them. I'm kind of a little confused because how you engage the monsters, it's you wait for, you know, your alertness reticle on the top of your screen, and depending on how big it gets, you know, that's when they see you, and then you can either run, you can fight. Um, that, to me, was a little convoluted, not necessarily confusing. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing that bothered me was uh, dodging or parrying. Like, yeah, I, I, that that was a little frustrating. In the training, it took me forever to figure it out, and then I figured out, I was like, oh, I'm literally supposed to just – they'll tell me when to push the button. Like, but I'm like, but, but, like why? <laughs> but the th- Okay, no, no, no. The thing about it is the tutorial – uh, when, okay, so you learn. You know, one of your friends slash almost to me, it seemed like a bodyguard, teaches you how to use basic skills. Okay, that's cool. It's not your typical, okay, A does this, da, da, da. You know, it's kind of like it's it's more realistic. Right. Dude, I'm sitting there, oh, a badass. Oh, oh yeah, I like, I fuck, uh, messed him up, and all of a sudden it's like, I get into real life situations with it, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm getting knocked around. I'm getting slammed. I'm like, ah, oh. like uh, there's these herds. Like oh, let's just call them buffalo for the lack of better terms. <laughs> the pretty, the I oversized could, buffalo, <laughs> dude. Dude, I could not dodge them. No, like I'm sitting there. I'm like trying to do, moving, moving, and nothing. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> like I. Uh, the game is only 60% done, mm-hmm. okay? So I'm mm-hmm. taking that with a grain of salt, but at the same time, it's kind of like it's – you have to – I don't know. I hate when controls aren't intuitive, mm-hmm. you know, where if I want to hit a button, I want to dodge. I want to be focusing on the combat and not necessarily – okay, wait, wait for the sh- – wait, wait, okay, right there. Wait, it wait, wait, it, it does seem to be a, a bit of a delay for, like, the dodging, and, and that yeah. did become a little frustrating, tedious. My big beef when I was talking to you about the fighting is the cameras, the lock-on system. It seems to be oh. flawed now. I understand um, – people got to understand, like, with a demo, you almost pretty much have the finished product, you know? It's like a few things that really need to be adjusted. Um, I just hope that's one of them that they do kind of work on is the fighting system. Uh, I did get used to it, though, um, and, and that's another thing that I, yeah. I didn't mind. I did get used to it. So as much as I'm complaining about it, I, I kind of got used to what it was and, and what it was all about. But at, at, at the same time, it just seems like they could make it simple. The thing that just frustrated me was the lock on, on the um, – the guy, yeah. like, why didn't the camera roll? Did you have a problem? Like, did the camera stick with it with you? Because it didn't. It, it, if I'm fighting somebody, if somebody's behind me, I was locked onto him and hit him, but I couldn't see because I had trouble. Yeah. And then if I try to rotate the camera, it's it, what it does actually is switches the guys that I'm targeting on. Yeah, and it, it is one of those quiz. I think it's uh, L2 or L1, I think, is your lock on. You hold it. No, you tap it, locks on, then you don't have to hold it. And what you're saying is confusing is you can move your guy with the left, and then you can switch targets with your right. It's, right. it's Okay, it's a great system in theory, mm-hmm. but in the middle of combat, when you're trying to rotate the camera, rotate your guy, you flip through. And oh my god, dude, when you have like four to five guys on the screen at once, you have to – to me, it felt like you have to cycle right. back through everything. And it's just kind of like, yeah, I, I agree with that. I kind of got little used to it, but at the same time, it was kind of like annoying. Yeah, you know, for the lack of a better term. And uh, I see, I don't know, dude. Like, I understand with most demos, but dude, they said it was only sixty percent done, mm-hmm. which is not really close to being released. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, and especially that's, if, that's true. Well, how long has this game been in development? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, quite a long time. But I could see what I, I could see. Um 
all the problems that they could have with it because I, I'm experiencing yeah. some of the problems now. And some of the things that I, I've always wanted in the Final Fantasy, I just want it and never thought about, oh, yeah, this could be an issue considering that they've never done it and they want to try to be different. They don't want to be like every other game. So yeah. um, I, I, I think overall, though, the game was phenomenal. Um, oh, I really yeah. wish I didn't play it before I played uh, Type Zero, that's for sure. Well, and, and you know what's odd is you weren't really supposed to. Yeah. Like, it's like Type Zero was supposed to be the prelude into 15. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, I, we'll, we'll save that for that discussion. But you know what? I, I also have to take into account it's based off of Square Enix's new engine. Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't Unreal 4. It's their uh, Crystalis. Crystal Engine, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, so I'll give them a little bit of leniency, not much, mm -hmm. but I can understand where the controls seem a little wonky, and it's just my, minor graphic error. Mm -hmm. Like I was just noticing, I'm kind of like, okay, just take it with a grain of salt. But uh, I don't know, dude. I hope it gets polished. But you know, the Bahamut fight, mm -hmm. uh, which <laughs> no spoilers, but um, <laughs> no spoilers. You know, your, your bounties, you have to fight a Bahamut, which the tracking in it was phenomenal. Well, like, you had that sense of intensity. Uh, I'm not going to say, but what you do with your weapon, <laughs> I'm kind of showing it. I forget that I have the camera on. I'm sitting here doing it. But <laughs> the, th the thing that you actually do with the weapon is what you're, you're yeah. referring to, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yep. awesome. It, it, I, I was actually quite impressed with how that worked. And um, watching the trailers when they were talking about it was one of the things I was nervous about. Um, and But it, it did good. It did it did yeah. good with it. I, I was really impressed. Again, that was one of the things that I was more worried about than not, and they did a great job with it. Yeah. No, they did. I'm, I'm excited to see what the finished product is. And the summons, dude, oh. Yeah. Like, I'm, oh, God. Okay, first of all, it's like, okay, it's like seeing seven for the first time. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I'd say ten for the scale. The scale of the summons is like the first time you actually get, like, a concept of, oh, shit, they're huge. Like, now? Oh, my God. Like, tell me that just that moment was just kind of like, oh, shit, yeah. you know? No, that it, that was cool. I did like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't the video is on our um Platinum City Gaming website if you guys want to see what the summon looks like incredible it it blew me uh, away blew dude, me away and I can't wait cuz they said something like you're going to have to fight some of the summons and like the one leviathan mm -hmm. trailer uh that they showed was just kind of like and it just it dwarfed mm -hmm. Ramu, you know so I'm just kind of like okay <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah, so the the summons it's going to be it, it's going to be a teardrop. Um it's going to be amazing. So, overall yeah. overall perspective of the game, what, what was your feelings? Uh, you know what? I I'm feeling good about it. Um I think I th I think I can say I I'm, I'm excited. Good. I, I want to see what they can do and I feel I feel better knowing it's not it's a little over halfway instead of it being like 95% done. I think I'd be a little more apprehensive about it. I mean, what about you? I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Yeah. Um, the small little things, if they weren't f to fix it, um, I'm not going to have a hot attack about it. It will be my, you know, couple defaults about the game system uh, in total. I'm the game in total. But uh, other than that, uh, it's... I'm 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 pleased with it where they are. Yeah. Uh, yep. It's definitely going to be everything I anticipated. It's going to be a game that I'm going to spend a lot of time with. So uh, yes. I'm definitely happy with it. Definitely yeah. happy with it. So. Yep. Um. All right. So on to <laughs> after that. Follow that with uh, Type Zero. Um. I'm gonna have the trailer playing over here while oh, yeah. while we're talking about it. Um. And this is the trailer for anyone that that wants to know on the the left. Um. No audio. I'm shutting the audio off because you don't want to hear that. You want to hear us. Uh, the game, hmm. The game overall to me was. Uh, I had to keep in mind that this was a now PSP title first. Yes. In Japan yep. only. Um, so playing this game, I, I I tried to keep that in mind. Uh, the visuals were very impressive. They did update it um, yeah. pretty well. Uh, just I didn't think it was PS4 standards. 
uh i think it was more ps3 standards but uh it was still good uh i still liked it It, it's not something that threw me off um something that i did notice is as i played the game more uh the more i kind of was like i don't know how i feel about this game uh the there's just a lot going on this story um which pretty much this trailer is is seems to be the whole intro um to the game uh and and that right there is kind of very confusing. You have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Um, I finished pretty much the first part, the the whole intro for it, and I'm still yeah. like, what? What just uh-huh. happened? Like, why am I going through this? Who who are these people? Why am I doing this? Like, it's just total chaos, and mm-hmm. it, it's just it, so difficult to understand what's going on. And um, Final Fantasy games. It kind of set off that way, but this is this was the worst. I think the the most confusing intro. I mean, all you know is that there's a bunch of crap going on in, <laughs> in the middle yep. of it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know what the intro kind of reminded me of Avatar. Yeah, you know, it was like the six nations lived at peace until the Fire Nation attacked, and it was kind of like I, I I like the theory you get swept up into something, uh-huh. but dude yeah it's it's just too much like you really you don't start out mm-hmm. like you would in final fantasy it's almost kind of like you start out the game midway through mm-hmm. and it's, it's just one of those uh, yeah i agree it's not ps4 quality mm-hmm. but it looks good yes it's a it's a beautiful rendering mm-hmm. of a psp game mm-hmm. I I kind of like the darker aspect of it. Oh, it's um, it, it's definitely dark. It, it, doesn't it kind of yes. remind you of Final Fantasy eleven? Not eleven, twelve. A mix yeah. between Final Fantasy twelve and Final Fantasy what we don't talk about Ten, uh, eight. Uh, <laughs> oh, fair, okay, fair enough. Um. Well, and you know what? I throw in a dash of 10 because if you remember the undertone with 10 with Seymour and how everything was death-related and, like, the, the undertone, I think I think it's a good mixture of those three. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. I, I, it, 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 I think it's going to take some warming up, too. Yeah. And I think we're going to – and I'll hit it on the head because I think you're along this lines. The camera. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I see – okay, I – to me, I don't care if it's a beautiful game. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it's Final Fantasy VII. The camera, you you can kind of sort of get used to it, mm-hmm. but I don't like how they do the dramatic effect, the blurred mm-hmm. spinning. Like every time you move, it's like... Yeah, it's... You know, it's like... It's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, you guys know how I feel about cam- uh, controls anyways, and um, camera is just as much as combat. Yeah, for me, and it's just, uh, I dude, I don't know. It's, it, it. I know what you were saying. Like, it bothers me. I can get used to it, but something in the back of my mind is nagging me. Like, this isn't right. Right, right, right. Um, it it wasn't just the camera. It, I was very confused on what I, who I use for what situation. Um, at first, and then I got uh, it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the fighting, it, it's worse than Final Fantasy fifteen, and. And a lot of people did talk about the camera, and they said that, that they hoped that that was the one thing they fixed. Um, this is a remaster, like uh, like a, just an HD upgrade of the game. Um, they're not going to completely rebuild the game. So no. um, when people started complaining about the camera, I automatically knew. I'm like, yeah, they're not going to change that. I mean, no. I, as far as I'm concerned, that I don't know if they can because then it's almost rebuilding the entire game. But yeah. I don't know what extent they have to do that. And, and could they have fixed it in there? I, I don't know. But they clearly didn't. And yeah. um, it is frustrating because uh, not all your battles right there in front of you. So no. it, it becomes it becomes frustrating. And again, um, more so in this game than the 15, when you're trying to do other things and move the camera, you're switching the guy that you locked onto. So yeah. it just my whole thing is I just want the camera to rotate with me and and that's a big part of it and it's it, yeah. it gets very difficult sometimes for that to happen but all in all I'm still gonna give the game a chance I'm still trying it and still playing it yeah. and, and hopefully you know something better comes from it 
and the story i just i want the story to clear up and and that's really what's getting to me i feel like everything is moving way too fast and and i i'm yeah. not i'm not with it and i don't understand what's going on all i know is that there's three factions and mm-hmm. and uh, one of the factions is pretty much a whole faction of freaking school kids that have badass <laughs> powers that nobody messes with and they yeah. get there and they just total annihilation and and they even the fight out for some reason but even though they have airships <laughs> that are flying in the air that's twice the size of the goddamn place they're attacking it just it doesn't make <laughs> yeah. it just it, i just don't understand what the hell's going on so I'm, I'm hoping this clears up i hope this slows down the battle i kind of feel like there's too much going on at once um but yeah i don't know we gotta it's all about giving it a chance you know yeah and i think people have to realize this is coming from psp where there was only one analog stick mm-hmm. okay so there was only so much you could do. I I take everything with a grain of salt because the sequel will probably fix a lot of it, mm-hmm. you know. And I, you're right. I think this is going to be one of those stories that is kind of like Seven. You're kind of like, huh, huh, huh. And then you're going to get like halfway through it and be like, oh. Yeah. And I, my thing is, and actually on that note, I don't like how it seems like as of right now they're going to force you to replay through some things. Yeah. You know, for whatever reason, because when you clear a zone and or a mission, mm-hmm. uh, it says number of times completed. And then I'm kind of like, like I, I, I want to play something again, but I don't want to be like, oh, okay, in order to do this, I got to do this. Or, you know, I, I don't know. I don't like tedious MMO grinding mm-hmm. in an RPG. Or I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. In a non-online game. Right. Right. No, I I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Overall view. What you what you what's your thoughts? I don't know. I'm indifferent. Um, I'm I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna stick this one out because a it's a Final Fantasy title. Mm-hmm. We've been waiting for it for a long time. I do like. Oh, that's another thing. I do like the tie-ins with 13. Mm-hmm. You know, and spoiler alert that the Lassie Lassie. Lassie? 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 Yeah, okay. Like, that right there was a nice. And how the title said uh, Chrysalis Novus. Mm. Novus? Uh, you know, that that was a nice throwback. So mm-hmm. I'm interested to see where that goes. But yeah, I'm, I'm on the fences, and I'll probably get maybe about 20, 30 hours into it, and then kind of be like, I'm done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh... It was it was a rough night, Chris, when I was playing. <laughs> when I was playing it, it it I'm like I'm looking at I'm playing it and I got my headphones on. And I'm like, uh, like I felt I felt I felt Final Fantasy 13 all over again, and I oh. I never beat Final Fantasy 13. Um, what? Yeah, no, I just. Uh, it, oh man! I I, I want to get back into it. I, I want to beat it, but it's that's 13 bored me. A lot. Okay. I no, really want. I, I really wanted to know the story because I wanted to get yeah. what everything was about, and then it just yeah. got to a point. And I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. but it, dude, you know what? Go back, beat thirteen, because yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I platinum that game. And anybody mm-hmm. that's ever done that game platinum wise, oh. Yeah. But the ending. Is the worth ending it. is worth it, yes. In each one of those crappy iterations. But... I played uh, Ten Two and I loved it. I really, really liked Ten Two a lot. So uh, oh, wow. I mean Ten Two. I'm Thirteen Two. I'm sorry. Um, oh, okay. It, it's called Thirteen Two, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. And, Sarah and Noel. Yeah, and I played oh. the demo for that, and I really liked it, and it made me want to go back and play Thirteen again. So I got to yes. go back and play Ten Two. Ten. I never played Ten Two. I played Ten, but I didn't play Ten Two. So, hey, are you going to get it when it gets remastered on PS4? I think I have to. I, I, that's what I think. Think because I was thinking to myself because I bought it on Vita mm-hmm. and uh, I skipped the PS3 uh, one, mm-hmm. but I'll get I'll get it on the PS4. That's just something. And the thing that's cool is um, I have PlayStation Now for the lounge, so yeah. uh, PlayStation Now they have 13 and they have oh. 13 too. So um, I was nice. playing Saints Row 4, which. Oh, so many games I got to do because I never bought Saint, I never bought Saints Row 4, 
uh, 4 because I'm like, I know they're going to come out with one for PS4 and I'm not going to buy it for PS3 and then buy it for PS4. (laughs) So now they came out with the PS4 and they uh, they came out with Gat out of Hell and I didn't end up buying either of them for PS4 because now they have it for PlayStation now. So I'd rather just not pay for it and just beat it in PlayStation 3. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like it's, what's going to be the difference? I get it in PlayStation now. That's what it's going to look like for PlayStation 4. I know they didn't probably up the quality. It's not like Last of Us. Oh, which I didn't add. Um, I beat Last of Us. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. Congrats. No Congrats. spoils. All, all I got to say is if you haven't played that game and you haven't beat it, beat it. Just for the ending. Uh, <laughs> the okay. ending is nothing even spectacular. It's just, it's... I, I, I heard know. it was good. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not like, <gasps> so blah, mind blown. <laughs> like, it, it wasn't anything yeah. like that. It was just, it was like, wow. Like, I can't believe they ended it that way. Like, that, that's a great... And, and it was not what I anticipated. Like, I thought I had it paid. I was like, dude, I already I already know. I'm just going to beat it just because I want to see it. And yeah. it... No. No. <laughs> I thought people ruined it for me. Apparently not. It's not what I thought. So, I'm not going to say okay. any more about that because I don't want to... I don't want to yeah. ruin it. So, <laughs> um, all right. So, um, next game we're getting to is um, Battlefield Hardline. Um which was another game that came out not last week, the week before. Um, anyone that's ever played a Battlefield franchise, uh, it, it's practically the same thing. Uh, yeah. Same thing as all the other Battlefields. Uh, just the difference is the story is different, completely different. They have uh, cops and robbers. It's a cops and robbers like thing uh, theme, and um, it's very much like. Uh, the shows that you see, CSI, uh, uh, CSI NCIS, um, okay. I can't really say Law and Order, but um, all, all those things, that's what they pretty much tried to do. They tried to take a show, and they've even named the missions like episodes. So they say like episode one. So they, they really built it to be um, uh, to be based on like almost a show. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it, it's... I haven't got to play the campaign yet, but the campaign's supposed to be really good. Uh, I've played a lot of multiplayer. It's yeah. and I'm just gonna be honest, with everyone. It's just as frustrating as any other freaking first person shooting game. <laughs> At the end of the day, um, yeah. I've just I've lost a lot of love and passion for um, first person shooting games just because I've become so pissed off. And at the end of the day, it's because sometimes I'm just not as good as the people that I'm playing with. So that's what's really frustrating. <laughs> yeah. But it, but uh, to 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 kind of give myself a little bit of credit. Um, I play a lot and I'm not bad. It's just what frustrates me is like if you spawn and you spawn in the middle of total chaos and you get killed. And it's just, it's frustrating uh, when that happens continuously and you're just like, what the hell? But yeah. uh, as you can see, there's just so much going on right now. Um, that's <laughs> one of the greatest things about Battlefield uh, franchise is that like the uh, explodable environments, uh, yeah. the uh, how you can use so many vehicles, and this one you can zip line across buildings. Uh, they have like a um, a tower. What are those things called? Uh, cr- like cranes? Uh, yeah, it's a crane. Yeah. And you're in the crane. The crane blows up, and it, the whole crane just starts to fall, and it falls into the building, and it knocks the building. It's so intense. It's so intense. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is – it's really cool for the sense of being able to play with a bunch of people, and especially if you have a group of friends yourself. Playing yeah. by yourself, I've, I've been forcing myself to play it, and it's, it's a good time, but um, – it, it's not something that it's gonna. I'm gonna stick with. I don't think like it. Just first person shooters. I start to get bored because I feel a reputation going on. Yeah. Just, I'm doing mm-hmm. the same thing. This one's really cool though because there's so much. Um, the basic concept of it is it's cops and robbers. So you're either a robber or you're a cop. And then they have so many different ones. They brought a lot of the traditional uh, Battlefield Four ones where they have um, not campaign. Uh, I forget what they call it. Um, people are probably freaking yelling at me what it is on, on as they're watching, <laughs> but um, uh, they it's it's when you pretty much take over like one area at a time. You have three areas, and at the end of the day, every time you take over an area, you get your team gets points, and uh, oh, okay. you try to lock it down. The longer you lock it down, the more points it, it adds up and stuff like that. Confrontion, uh, confrontion. <laughs> confrontation no uh well whatever it's something like that <laughs> yeah so um but you can do small or large and uh the large maps are huge and that's when they really involve the um 
the uh helicopters and airplanes and stuff like that so nice. uh but it's it's so cool it's it's it is fun uh if you're into first person shooters games uh i got into a, a little debate with somebody about why didn't they just they don't feel that this is worth 60 dollars. they feel that it's more of see there's the crane falling down now and it just knocks nice. down the whole building and then you can actually Ooh. beat in that crane as it falls down are you serious? Yeah, it's not fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it just keeps falling. Um, but uh, they said that they feel that this should have been more of an expansion pack than a, than a full game. And I, I tried to explain this to this person. And we'll have an episode where we talk about the difference between when a company yeah. should come out with an expansion and when they should come out with a full game. I, I think that's a really mm-hmm. good co- topic to get into. But, oh, yeah. But uh, the thing I try explaining is I'm like, this is not like an expansion. Like, yes, you added a couple maps, and yeah, you just added guns. But you also added a whole new concept to a game, which requires a whole new coding. Like, you, mm-hmm. you're now, it's it's bad guys versus good guys, cops and robbers. It's not terrorists versus military. And, and the, yeah. they came up with a whole new system on how you upgrade your weapon. As you do stuff, you earn money. And mm-hmm. as you earn money, this money gets you to buy weapons. But you can't just straight out buy weapons. You have to, uh, uh, you have to also unlock your weapons. So you got to be certain levels to unlock those weapons to buy them. So at All first, right. when I first heard it, I didn't like it because the system they had before is the more you use the weapon and the better you do with it, the more it upgrades. But you never got okay. to choose what it upgraded. So like you were just like, boom, this is your next this is your next scope oh, okay. boom this is your next gun boom you know yeah. what i mean this one it says okay boom 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 these are your choices which one do you want to purchase you know so okay. the system is better now that i got to play it more and i'm like you know what I, I do like that it is a better system and the way you earn money is pretty cool like just you earn money kind of just like you earn experience points so it, it was all really yeah. cool um yeah. you got to give the game a chance uh I, it's definitely too much to be an expansion i i, I think it's definitely a 60 dollar game um opposed to an expansion okay but uh, I do see people's gripes because they feel this is the same game it, it, because it's the same uh, engine that they used. It's um, cri- not Crisis, uh, Frost. They used Frost 3. Uh, Frostbite. Yep. And uh, that I can understand. The graphics aren't too much better, um, which people need to get over that. We're on PlayStation 4, like... But this is still next gen graphics. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People need to chill with the graphics thing. You know, like yeah. mm-hmm. it's we're still buying eight bit games for crying out loud. Like <laughs> you, yep. you're still bitching about graphics. But I, I get I get people's point. It's I mean, but it's Battlefield Four graphics, so what? <laughs> Yeah, you know what I yep. mean. Like, so what? What's wrong? What was wrong with Battlefield graphics? You know, like yeah, I know you want to see an upgrade, but. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, until you start investing in the 4K, yeah, it's, it's not even worth it. And games won't even be put out in that. Yeah, you know. So yeah. So um, yeah, but uh, my overall view of the game is it is a good game. Uh, it was definitely uh, definitely worth it. Uh, if if you're into first person shooter games, so uh, definitely invest if you do like first person shooters. I, I and I think it's. Best Buy has it on sale for I think forty dollars. Yes. So um, Amazon too. Amazon's yes. got it on sale for forty dollars. So good catch, Chris. Good catch. Yes. Yeah. So definitely um, check it out. You know, now's the time to buy it if if you want to buy it. So um, is it that expansion price? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You want it, you want an expansion? There you go. There's your expansion. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So the next game is uh, Bloodborne. Uh. So, uh, I haven't got to play Bloodborne yet. I do plan on purchasing it for uh, the lounge, so that will be my time. The main reason why is just I got too many games right now, so that's why I haven't yeah. bought it personally. Um, mm-hmm. Another joy of owning a video game lounge is I can buy it and say it's business <laughs> purposes. Um, but, yeah, so uh, Bloodborne, good game. Uh, I mean, I got to see a lot of it, and um, I've got to hear personal uh, views of it. And one of the things that everyone's saying is it's hard. It's a very, very hard game. And that's kind of where you get it from, coming from the franchise it's coming from. 
Um, yes. It's not the hardest out of the franchise, but I've heard that it was the second hardest, definitely. But the thing about it is, I mean, that's a, that's a good balance, mm -hmm. you know, because where I see uh, the franchise sort of put off a lot of people at the same right, it's like it's it's kind of – I want it to be frustrating, but then I want it to make you want to come back. Right. Instead of be like, you know what, I'm not a masochist mood right now, so, you know, I'll come back later on. But <laughs> I'm I'm happy, dude. When, we, when I first was watching gameplay and everything, like the blood, I hated what I call paper blood. Yes. It's when you shoot somebody and it's just – it is legitimately a sheet. Yeah. A, a, like texture and then just disappears. Oh, yeah. It's this like, this uh, isn't the case here. <laughs> 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 this is just blood everywhere in this game. <laughs> hey, now, has you, have your brother played the uh, co op dungeon? Uh, I don't know if he's. I, I haven't heard him say he's done the co op. Um, there's a lot of videos out there of people. Um, getting raided and stuff while they're trying to play and it's it's so funny <laughs> no no dude I, that's why i keep my stuff offline yeah I'm like, that's what i explained no. that's what i explained to speaking of blood mm -hmm. this trailer is very graphic <laughs> he's just <laughs> chopping away at this guy but um with that. yeah um the game looks crazy uh the bosses look yeah. amazing uh mm -hmm. the controls i heard is is awesome it, re it reminds me so much of um Devil May Cry, and and okay. I loved Devil May Cry. Another thing yes. that's really attracting me is the weapons and the dodging system. Um, they say yes. they say you do not dodge, you do not live. <laughs> they say you have okay. to you have to learn the dodge. Like Which dodging is, is is key, and and that's what they really um utilized in this game for controls is the dodging. So um, that's that's awesome. Look at how much blood is just it's everywhere. I know. It's that is so satisfying. <laughs> satisfying. It's everywhere. And, and, and you know, hey, the same thing was like in Dark Souls series. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just kind of like you just can't go in there and button mash. Yes. You know, there, there's that element to where, okay, you need to watch. You need to adapt to the enemy's movements. Like, this is still intense. Yeah. Even if you were dodge, 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 you're not going to get anywhere because eventually you're going to slip up. Yep. Yep. So you have to find your, your perfect window and your perfect outlet. And the sheer veracity of that fight, it's kind of like you, you're not really paying attention to, oh, okay, dodge here, dodge here, dodge here. You're kind of like, uh, 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 you know, and it's like those moments are great. And I think we need more of that in this type of genre. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. And, and you do have to be careful when you dodge. Like it, it really makes every move like crucial. Uh, mm -hmm. and, yep. and there's a lot of cool features they had in this game. It's something about uh, the notes. You can leave notes for people, and mm -hmm. uh, if you if people rate it, like people can read your notes, and if your note was good and they rate it good, it fills up your life. And uh, oh, nice. my brother was telling me about a part he was fighting a boss. And he was almost dead, and all of a sudden he got life <laughs> because <laughs> someone gave him plus on the note, and they said if he didn't get that life, he would have died. So, oh my god! Yeah, so that clutch. Yeah, so that was huge. So yeah, see, um, and that's and I like that dynamic because that that also adds to people actually legitimately putting notes. Yep. Instead of always trying to goof and always trying to send you off to your death, you know. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So, um, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool yeah. stuff. I'm excited. I, I really want to try out the game. I want to see what it's like and um, play it and play online with people. I heard the co-op. When you do co-op, it is cool. So, um, yeah. I, I do want to get it. I don't want to act like I don't want to get it. I just I gotta force myself to play Final Fantasy Zero Type Zero. I uh, I have to force myself because I gotta beat it. Um, yeah. I just felt so accomplished after beating uh, um, Last of Us, and yeah, I was just like, you know, it feels good. I love beating games. I haven't beat last game yeah. I beat was Infamous fully, and I'm like, Ooh. yeah. So I'm like, I gotta get back to to beating it because like even Watch Dogs, I just I couldn't do it anymore. I'm like I. I was trying to make myself like the game, and I was so frustrated because I, it didn't turn out to be what it was supposed to be. So that was pretty goddamn frustrating. So now well, I gotta go that's back. That's understandable. Watch Dogs is a horrible game. Uh, it's it's so disappointing. We won't even <laughs> topic, topic for another <laughs> day. A, there you go. Yep. Yeah. So. So, but yeah, it it definitely looks Bloodborne looks like a go to game, you know. And I I like how the fact that we have first world problems where it's like. So many games, by the time we do get around to it, it'll be $40. You know, mm -hmm. It'll be discounted because that's why I don't buy and stock up on games anymore. I'm like, by the time I get to it, I'll get it at the discount, Yep. and I'll be happy. Yeah, and that and that's kind of where I'm at with this one, too. I'm like, by the time uh, I get all 
my games done with and stuff like that, I'll be able to um, I'll be in a happy place and I'll be able to yeah. buy the game because it will be it will be at a discount. So like you said, um, yep. I'm just putting JP Creations up here in the corner so that way everybody can see. Nice. See, this is their Facebook page. So if you guys ever want to check them out, please do. Great company. Um, all the cool stuff they make out of pallets and stuff. There's the video. We won't watch that. Though. I'll let you guys go to JP Creations site for Sweet. that. So, but um, yeah. So I mean, is there anything else that you want to cover on that other than that? Now I think we touched upon pretty much everything. I think we stayed actually relatively focused today. Yeah, we did. <laughs> That really happens. I'm quite impressed with ourselves. Had us on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, again, I want to do a shout out to um, the people that, you know, that, oops, I'm clicking all over the place here. Uh, people that have been helping us out. A uh, huge shout out to our performance desi design products. Uh, great, great products, as you can see. Yeah. As I pulled up there, which I didn't mean to do, but um, they do a bunch of different things. Um, they don't just do the controller; they also do headphones, cool light-up headphones uh, that go for PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360. No, did it say Xbox One? Yep, they got Xbox One ones. Um, they do the the fight pads, which are awesome, uh, awesome, yep. awesome, awesome. I, I can't explain it enough. You you play any Wii U game? And you you have to buy a fight pad. Like I really didn't realize it until I got one, and then I got one, and I'm like, this is I, I can't I can't play Mario Kart without it now. Like it's it's awesome. <laughs> yep. uh, they yep. have uh, the Rock Candy Xbox One controllers. Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to write them an email about PS4 controllers because we can't have Xbox One without PS4. So shenanigans. Yes, uh, they have um, Disney Infinity stuff which is like cases for the discs and the guys, and they also have um, the pad covers, base protector and stuff like that, and they got extenders. So uh, really cool, really, really, really cool company. Uh, they do a bunch of cool things, so definitely check them out. And, uh, again, check out JP Creations, any custom stuff you guys want to do. They recycle. That's that's the big part. I didn't even mention that. Um, everything they build is out of uh, repurposed wood. So uh, they build a lot of stuff with pallets. Uh, those benches that you see in those pitches there is all pallet. It used to be a pallet, and they made it into a bench. Um, so everything nice. everything they build is from recycled uh, wood or, or some kind of recycled product. My cabinet is all recycled. It wasn't all fresh new wood. It was... Uh, something that used to be something else. So wow. that's that's the awesome thing about what they do um, mm. and uh, how they do it. And being able to come up with those ideas is just just such a cool thing, such a cool concept. Yeah. So, um, And then um, also, I didn't even get the shooter out, um, C. Emily Photography uh, is another one, uh, a company that does all our uh, – let me see if I can pull up her Facebook so that way I can show that. Definitely, this is a huge, huge shout-out to uh, C. Emily Photography. She does all our flyers, so all those flyers that you see um, is by uh, C. Emily uh, Photography. And uh, she does not just uh, business pictures, but she does uh, pictures for families. Um, she's she's done my all my family's pictures Uh She's great at what she does, and she's been doing it a while. She does weddings and and uh, baby pictures, so for newborn baby pictures and stuff like that. And, uh, again, she's done the families. That's my little guy right there. Mm. She's great with kids. Uh, she does a great job with uh, couples and stuff like that. So really, really good. Uh, again, she's nice. she's done all our flyers, so she does things on the business end, and then she does stuff on the personal end as well. Uh, CD for all those musicians out there, look for CD covers. And she does that too. Great, great, great photographer and great designer. So, and she gets them done extremely fast. I mean, I, I feel bad for the poor girl. She's got to do all my flyers for the <laughs> month. And it's like I constantly have changes all the time. I'm like, ooh, I said 5 o'clock. I meant to say 6. <laughs> ooh, did I say one-on-one? -on -one? I meant 2 <laughs> on 2. <laughs> so, like, she wants to rip my face off sometimes. But she does a great job, and she's very responsive right away, instantly. Nice. Um, gets it done, fixed, everything you need to do, she does it. So, um, 
She does a good job. Check her out on C. Emily Photography. Um, well, actually, you don't need to put the dot, but C. Emily Photography on uh, Facebook. And let me see if I can get you guys her website. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll share it. I usually share it and put it on the, the Facebook page. So, But um, that's really it. Um, don't forget about the tournaments this week. Sign up online. Online, sign up. Don't wait. Don't wait to the day of the event. Sign up online, so that way you hold your spot. You got it. You're good. You paid for it. You're straight. You do not need yep. PayPal. PayPal uses your credit card, so I get asked that all the time. PayPal <laughs> accepts any major credit card. So um, uh, NHL 15 is on Friday, and NBA 2K is on Saturday. And next week is the Mario, uh, um, not Mario, Super Smash Brothers tournament. Yes. And that one, I'll put the flyers up for that too as well. That's with the fight pads. You win the fight pads. Stay tuned. Oh. Uh, we will be giving away free fight pads other than on um, the tournament. So me and Chris are going to come up with some pretty cool ideas on how we can give away free fight pads. Maybe we'll give away on the show. And uh, I think that'd make it a little fun. So yeah, we have a couple extra fight pads to give away for free. So ooh, ooh, ooh. yes, sir. Nice. Excited about that. So yes, but um, yeah. So check us out on Facebook. Make sure you like us. Tell your friends. Tell your friends, mama. Tell your friends, mama, daddy. I don't care. Just tell everybody. <laughs> uh, like, like, like. Check us out on um our website. Check us out on Twitter. Uh, we got a YouTube channel, which we'll start adding uh, all these. So that way, if you guys can't catch it on Twitch, we're going to host them all on YouTube so you can watch all the shows. I'm going to put all our past shows on YouTube as well. So you guys can catch our past shows. I don't know, Chris. Do you think we should come up with a new name? Since this is kind of like, it's almost like a, a rebirth. This is like a new beginning for oh. us. We might have to come up with a special name besides just Platinum City Gaming Live. Maybe we have to think of something. Yeah, you know what? I, I think that would be good yeah. because then next week I'll be not a symbol. Yes. Which, you know, I'm, I'm fine with. Prince did it for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? We're so used to not seeing our face, but now we're going to have to see our pretty face. So. I, I, but I like where you're headed. <laughs> you go with that. <laughs> but, yeah, so um, maybe we'll think of a new name or something so you guys can call yeah. us by it we'll see because we're gonna do a bunch of oh yeah we're gonna stream a lot more uh me and Corey have been going at it and i think i'm gonna do little sessions where it's me and him just going against each other if you guys check our past uh twitch videos it's me and him we go against each other in nhl and nba it's very entertaining to say the least nice. um <laughs> to say the least it's it's entertaining to watch so Corey's a goofball and then when we get together we're just we're just stupid so um, <laughs> more things, a lot more things we're trying to do, trying to stay active, and that's yes, really it. Kind of cool, you know. We're not tied down by anything here. We got sponsorship, but that's just me showing love. They didn't pay me to to show off their product. So, um, anyone out there that wants their product push, man, that's all. That's all we do. You know, we try to help out. You guys help us out and give us a little something to help push, and we'll push it for you. So, yep, it's all about community, gaming community. Yes, sir. So I think that pretty much does it for us for today, Chris. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Awesome, awesome. For now, for now, for today. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> for today, until I start turning on my Final Fantasy Zero, and then it's back to frustration uh, again. Yeah. Um, don't worry, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so we'll see you guys next week, same time, same channel, every Monday, yep. seven to eight. And uh, if not, check us out on YouTube. So I'm Van. I'm Chris. Later. Later.